by their very nature, suspenders are elastic. Uh, but it also speaks to elasticity when I explain why I switched to suspenders from belts. Here's the story. Um, so I'm, I'm tall, but I'm not that tall. Um, and I'm big and big enough that I need to go to either the big and tall section in a department store or a specialized store in order to uh, get certain clothing items. And uh, one such clothing item that qualifies for that are belts. Now, um, I go to what I call the fat store, which they keep changing their name every several so often, but the current name of the store is DXL. Now, DXL sells moderately quality products, sometimes I consider low quality, at high prices. Now, how are they able to do that in a free market? Well, they're able to do that because their product is highly inelastic. It means there's no such stretchiness to their prices. Why? Because I, as a big person, I think we're supposed to call ourselves persons of size at this point, um, I cannot, in a short period of time, change the shape of my body down to something more standard so that I can, you know, buy belts at a normal store. Uh, so uh, when I go there, it's because I have no other choice. And they know that. And so they do ridiculous things like charge really high prices um, as compared to what you would see on at a department store at like Walmart or something. So why did I switch to suspenders? Because Walmart sells suspenders um, at under $10 and you can get, you know, I have three suspenders at this point. Uh, Walmart sells them cheaply uh, because they're not specific to uh, large people or small people. They fit most anybody. Um, I'm still in range where I can fit in them and stuff. So um, that product is not inelastic. It's elastic. It is literally elastic and also figuratively elastic because um, there are there are substitutes. For most men, they can go belt or suspenders, and if they're going suspenders, there's multiple different uh, different suspender companies and different stores where they could buy it. So the prices are about, like I said, I think I've been paying nine dollars for every pair of suspenders, um, but I I didn't even look closely. It's something like um, thirty forty dollars if you buy two at DXL. Um, um, last time I was in there, I was like, no thanks to the belts, I'll just stick with suspenders, because suspenders are both figuratively and literally elastic.